Backing off. Hey. Ooh. <laughs> Scared the life out of me, mate. Ah, I didn't mean to. Picking up any tips? I don't think they like the short strays here. You didn't mind them, did you? <sighs> I love this track. Always do well here. Huh? Well, used to. How are you doing, Daryl? Me? Golden Lake. Loving life. Yeah, sure. You know what it's like to leave all this behind, don't you? Yeah, it's the most difficult thing I've ever done. Yeah, well, uh, like that. But, uh, I didn't choose this, Casper. I didn't, um, I didn't. I know. So you came back, right? How's it treating you? Ups and downs. Hmm. How's our old teammate doing? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't think he's happy here. <laughs> he still thinks he belongs in that top team, see? He's never let it go. That's the problem. You know, I, uh... I could have a word with him. I mean, if you think that might help. It's, it's all a bit dark. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, I understand. No, Devin, I mean it. Yeah? Scout's on him, mate. Did Casper really want you to talk to Aiden? Eh, I read between the lines. Look, Casper's good at lots of things, but I, uh, I know people. Yeah, I know how to get in their heads. And I wanted to help Dad, help the team, so, uh... Leave me alone. Listen, I'm just saying, mate, if you were such an incredible driver, you wouldn't be a connoisseur, would you? Sorry, it's the truth. No offence. Well, maybe I won't be here next season. <laughs> oh, dude. You know what your problem is? Yeah. You. You think you're better than the team. I remember, I remember when Aiden Jackson was just, just happy to be behind the wheel of an F1 car. We all liked that guy far better than this one. You never liked me. <sighs> no. But Casper did. Once upon a time. Oh, you're different now. You think you're too good for the team. Your head's stuck in some imaginary big three seat in Cloud Cuckoo Land, mate. No, no, no. You have got to drive the car you're in. You're lecturing me about ego. A subject I know well. Oh, right. I get it. So you're allowed to be cocky, but I'm not. Is that it? There's a difference. How can there possibly be a difference? This isn't you. This isn't you, mate. Oh, get lost. Be true to myself. Drive the car I'm in. The wisdom of Devon Butler. Should I be living my best life, too? Drive the car you're in, mate, yeah? Ciao. Marina Bay hosted a Grand Prix that briefly ran in the 60s and 70s, but the Garden City re-entered the calendar for good in 2008. We missed it for a couple of years, but it was great to come back to the Singapore Grand Prix. Here's the track and it's all changed for 2023 with four corners removed between turns 16 and 19. It means the lap length is now just over three miles and that might come as a welcome relief to the drivers and more especially their brakes. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and starting next to them is George Russell. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Sainz, Oscar Piastri, Perez, Fernando Alonso, Verstappen, Leclerc, Norris, Jackson, Joe, Ocon, Stroll, Mayer, De Vries, 
Magnuson, Sonoda, Gasly, Bottas, Sargent, Holkenberg, and Alex Albon picks up the last spot on the grid. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out then. Let's see who can prevail today. Well, it's a beautiful night here at the Marina Bay Circuit, and as ever, a really enthralling Singapore Grand Prix ahead of us. That's right, Crofty. And while there's not many surprises at the top of the standings right now, there's a lot to watch out for further down the pack. One driver I'll be definitely keeping my eye on is Connor Sports' Aidan Jackson. He's been less than consistent so far this season. Aidan, you know what you're doing here. Let's lock in and give it everything. Show us what you got. determination shown by some of the drivers out there today, Crofty, was nothing short of incredible. Elbows out, especially from Aiden Jackson. He loved his race today, and he finally delivered the sort of performance that we know that he's capable of. So whatever they're saying to him over at Connor Sport, he seems to be listening to. Welcome then to the podium, our top three drivers. What a great effort from them today in a very difficult race. Now, Aidan, you have had your ups and downs this season, but tell me, on the whole, are you pleased with your overall performance? Today's race should be a normality, not an exception. You know, if I can get a few more performances like today, then, yeah, I'll be much happier. OK, I'm going to be cheeky, go straight for the jugular. If you had to choose a teammate between Callie and Devon, who would it be? I guess I'd have to choose Callie. We've had our differences, but I'd take her over Devon any day. Plus, she's clearly the better driver. 
Now, Aiden, you have recently hinted that you're not entirely happy at Connor Sport. Tell me, is it true? Um, I think any driver in F1 is always going to be considering their next step. Is there a team I'd be better suited to? Who knows? And a change might do me good. Force me to grow as a driver. But there's nothing to report right now. You'll know when I do. There's been wild speculation on whether or not Connor Sport can even be on the grid next season. So can you tell us more? It all comes down to the investors, really. I know they can be pretty cutthroat when it comes to these kinds of things, but, you know, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if we struggled to find funding. Well, thank you for chatting with us. Great to have your time.